larger and larger and larger they grow. Uh, SSDs, that is. Samsung has one released. It quietly launches this 60... 1.44 terabyte SSD. But I should mention that other companies, like for example, like Western Digital, have also released drives as large as this. These are not drives for you or I, though, unless you own a data center. I don't, not presently anyway. So this is data center grade, cha-ching, probably very, very expensive. These are PCI Express 4 and 5 compatible, and they're using uh, Samsung's 7th generation VNAND QLC memory. Uh, and uh, no, this is not that thousand layer memory chip thing that I was talking about in another video. And I'll link you up to that, or you can do a search through my videos to find it. And that particular video, I was talking about drives that could reach one petabyte which is a thousand terabytes which is a million gigabytes so whoa 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 slow down that's a long way off though probably three or four years off which is actually i suppose not that you know distant really it's three or four years passes like this because i know <laughs> 24 years seem to have passed like a shh, just like lightning uh, first, when I started doing all this 24 years ago, my God, I keep saying that, but, uh, you know, time is always relevant to everything. Time is always, always relevant, certainly to this, because when I started first, I mean, drives back then were terribly expensive. And I had a couple of Western Digitals in a RAID 0 configuration, and uh, I didn't care. I used them as a C drive if they failed. I just reinstalled the operating system and all the other stuff with it because they were fast and playing games at that particular time. Well, that was a whole different experience as well. However, you know, you slap a couple drives in RAID 0, you get a couple of <laughs> voodoo cards in an SLI, 3D effects. Remember that? That goes back. Uh, and you were as happy... Well, you were a happy, happy person at that point. I know I was. God, uh, you know, as much as I love technology and how far it's come, um, I always kind of reflect back to that because, you know, it's almost like it's almost like seeing something and experiencing something for the first time. And um, I guess you can't ever get that feeling back again. Sometimes you can through a kid's eyes, right? But you know, it's just, uh, <laughs> it was an experience for me. Kind of like my first computer system, to be honest, uh, which was uh, an 8088, an Epson 8088. I think that was in like 1985. Now, I'm really showing my age now. but uh, And then after that, I think I had a 286 and a 386 and a 486. That was incredible. And then, of course, we are we are today uh, with systems that are wicked fast. Even our, you know, even our smartphones, super fast. Anyway, that's it. What do you guys think about drives and how large is the drive that you have? And is this complete overkill?